the legislature passed a budget and included a pay raise for teachers, increased money to schools, but it doesn't come anywhere close to filling the enormous education funding gap that has developed over 10, 15 years of cuts. So there are two groups out there that are thinking, why don't we put an initiative on the ballot that will deal with the long-term education funding? One of those initiatives would place an extra tax burden on people who sit at the head of tables like this. The other group would put an additional tax burden on people who clean tables like this. Now that first initiative, the Invest in Education initiative, says essentially that taxes will increase for individuals who make more than $250,000 or couples who make more than $500,000. In theory, I understand the argument that says we shouldn't overburden a particular group of people. And I agree with that. But we haven't really overburdened this particular group of people. If anything, for the last who knows how many years, the people who have gotten the biggest tax breaks in Arizona are those individuals who need those breaks the least. On the other hand, that other proposal would increase the sales tax. Now, the people who like this idea say, hey, look, with a sales tax, everybody plays, pays equally. You know, we all pay the same tax on the same item, so we're all in this together. It's fair. But is it really? Look at it this way. Let's say two people walk into a store, each needing to buy a necessity. We're not talking about some extravagance, but a necessity. Now the first person reaches into their money bag and they pull out a $10 bill. The other person reaches into their Gucci money bag and they pull out $100. Now the sales tax on that particular item, let's just say for the sake of argument, is $1. Which of these two people is this tax impacting more? Pretty obvious. 